Hi guys, it's Teresa of Larkin Design here today with my 2014 Project Life album uh, working on a Throwback Thursday layout for you and I'm using um, some older collections. I'm particularly using Dear Lizzie documentary today and I pulled out some of my um, uh, Project Life cards from the Charming Kits um, which are heavily Dear Lizzie inspired, um, particularly serendipity inspired, but I decided that I needed to use some more of my documentary collection here. And so I'm going to do this half of this layout today, and then I'm also going to turn the page and do the next two pages, um, or the next layout that's coming in this album. Um, I'm sort of feeling the urge to get this album done here in the next few weeks. I was just looking at my production calendar for the rest of the year and looking to see what I need to wrap up in order for a December Daily to start. Um, I know it's only uh, the end of August and I already have to start planning and so um I want to make sure that I get some of these projects done. I want to make sure I get this album done before the the middle of November. I want to make sure I get Disney done before the middle of November. And um, so I'm probably to that end. I'm probably going to start trying to see if I can double up a little bit. Um, I'm almost finished with the construction portion of this project in this album. So I suspect once I finish that part, the strategy for this album is going to change a little bit. And I'll, you know, we'll, we'll work on that when I get there. But, um, so for today, I'm just going to do these, these, um, this layout and a half or pay or two, three pages, um, using some of this fun stuff that I've Feel like I feel like it's probably time that I start moving the documentary collection out of rotation somewhat. I don't know because um, now that Saturday is here, or the the collection Saturday is here, so my dear Lizzie bucket is getting a little bit filled up. Um, so anyway, I am. Um, Working on, this is the layout that sort of shows some of the pictures that went with phase two for our construction project. And um, so you saw me I, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, do the card for phase one. And I used an Ali Edwards number. That number two and the white label are both from Ali Edwards. Um, and so I decided to do that again with this, and then there will also be one for Phase 3 coming up. Um, and that, that worked out really well. Um, there, you know, in, when we did the painting, there was the Phase 1 where we did one coat, and they came, and they came in and did some repairs. Or they, we, did, we did the painting, and they came in and did some repairs, and they came in and, and installed some of the products and the flooring, and then we had to do the quarter round on the trim work um, once they installed all the flooring. So that's what we're getting ready to do. And so I wanted to show some of the pictures that we took of when the flooring was put in and the, the boxes of all our appliances the day they were delivered. Um, it's just some fun some fun pictures. Alan's holding a faucet. It's still wrapped up in the um, plastic from being shipped. So, you know, but just some fun, some fun pictures of uh, th what to me really was like the exciting part. As if the whole thing hasn't been exciting already. Um, but for me, the the finishes and the you know the lighting and the doorknobs and the the shelving for the closets and all these things are sort of like the jewelry to me. The ceiling fans, oh my god, like everything is so new and so crisp and so pretty. And like I could not wait. I, seeing all the stuff in the boxes was almost like torture, but then it was so exciting to 
um, to see it all coming together and to be able to, you know, sort of peek in. We peeked in where we could, you know, and just knowing that it was it was ours and it was ready for us. And um, so you've seen me use these circle dates from Paisley Press throughout this project. And um, I probably don't have too many more layouts that I'm going to use those. I'm probably at the end of the construction project, I'm probably going to just retire those. And um, But I have so much enjoyed putting those somewhere on these layouts um, just to follow the the timeline. And you can see me too. I'm using this um, fingernail polish because I wanted to paint these cork letters. I, for some reason, I, I have a sort of love, not so sure I love relationship with um, cork. I, I think it's really pretty on other people's layouts and I kind of like it when I use it too, but for some reason these letters felt heavy. They felt visually heavy to me. So I just went and picked a fun nail polish color. I did, um, last year I think when I did another Dear Lizzie documentary layout, I think I used spray paints and I taped all the letters. Um, I think I spray painted like the bottom half of them gold or something. But, but cork is really porous. And so um, I ended up like going back several times and sort of touching up and whatever. But anyway, they, they turned out cute. I'll end up setting them aside to let them dry. Um, and about the time that I finish the layout that you'll forget all about them, then I'll bring them back and I'll put them in the pockets. Um, so anyway, and I'm just, you know, adding a couple more embellishments over that page and um, I forget what I'm getting ready to do here but I am gonna um, flip over and start the next layout here in just a few minutes oh yeah I decided that um, I only did this yesterday I don't know why I'm just spacing on what I did um, but I decided to use some of this washi tape to wrap this number. I really, um, I'm kind of interested in doing this again. It was kind of fun. Um, I think next time what I would recommend doing is laying all the strips of um, washi tape straight across. And then um, cut, if y'all are familiar with sewing, you know, when you're, when you're cutting your pattern and you cut around a, um, you cut around a round portion and you have to cut the little, I forget what they're called, the little piece, you cut the little things in them so that it doesn't bunch up. And, and I, I would recommend doing that, um, if you're going to do, like I just did right there. When I did it right there, I realized that that's what I should have done for some of those other curves on it. So, anyway, this is definitely a fun way to treat those numbers. Um, all right, and so now I'm going to flip the page and move on to the next page. And this is just more, um, absolutely, this is just more of the inside of the house and of some of these um, you know, individual individual pieces that make up a part of the whole of a finished house um and so this is i, I dated this for week 27 um which is like july 29th or july 30th or june 30th to july 6th um i just kind of um i'm trying to keep some sort of chronology here although I'm not positive um, but that is where these photos are dated at, if that makes any sense so I'm still keeping the weekly sort of um, chronology going I ran out of numbers from both of those sets I I go through a lot of twos do you guys feel that way I go through a lot of W's E's K's and twos um, <laughs> and ones 
So I ended up stamping that stamp set is an Allie Edwards stamp set. Um, so it made a good, it made a good um, number there for that card. And um, a little bit of washi tape across the bottom. And then I realized I needed to um, stamp my dates on there. So I'm just using the Heidi Swap date stamp. That's probably the one I reach for the most, although it might be simply because it's, I think it's the only one I have that says 2014. I don't know how that's possible. How is it possible that I have like 10 roller date stamps and only one that says 2014? That's so odd. Um, but Anyway, I guess that's why that's a, a good reason to buy lots of them because, like, some of them might only have a couple of years. Anyway, um, I'm just totally ran randomly rambling <clears throat> on this voiceover. But um, so this is another one of the the pattern papers from the documentary collection, which is actually one of my favorites, and. Um, I think that every time I've used it, I've punched out those circles and used those circles. Um, and then I hope you can tell how this charming kit just goes beautifully with this collection. I, the, of course, the purples are awesome. I know a lot of people really wanted the purples in this kit, and they're just beautiful. And... Um, and the, the colors in the documentary collection are beautiful. That mint green and that yellow. Oh, my goodness. So, it's, I love, I love working with these colors. And um, I think they've shown up a lot in this album, actually. Um, yeah. So, and, and that collection had that awesome set of puffy stickers. I had never even opened that set of puffy stickers. How was that pot? How did I have a set of puffy stickers that I had never opened? I, sometimes I'm almost embarrassed. Sometimes I'm almost embarrassed to do these Throwback Thursday videos because it, it shows you get to see like what products I was afraid to use and didn't use and that I'm hoarding or saving for a rainy day. It's almost embarrassing, <laughs> but I, I know it's just, it's just part of what we do. So there you go. You're safe here. If you, if you keep products and don't ever open them, you're safe here. So, and then I decided I had not used the stamp set yet. Um, for some reason, the Dear Lizzie stamps are not as, as sticky as some others are. I know that um, there's there's a solution for that and I haven't picked it up yet. Um, it's a, um, a, a removable adhesive that you can add and it was designed for, um, and forgive me because I don't remember the name, it was designed for people who wanted to take their their rubber stamps off of their wood blocks and start using them on acrylic blocks. Um, so I'm pretty sure if you Google that, Google, Google like stamp adhesive or something like that, I'll see if I can find a link to it. Um, and I need to get some. So if I do that, I'll, I'll tell you guys um, or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, I still use them. I still use them. You just have to be careful because they might fall off the, the block. <laughs> and, and yes, you can clearly see that I am not the best at cleaning my stamp sets. I, in fact, I typically don't. Um, I just keep going. So I'm, unless, it, unless it feels sticky or something, sometimes if I don't clean it after using... Um, after using my Versamark, it might feel sticky, so I'll clean it after that. But anyway, I also had, still had some of these wooden circles, and oh my god, I love those, I love those wood circles. I totally would use a hundred more of those. So, anyway, that side is done. Um, let's see if I have anything overall 
to say about that side of the layout. Um, I guess it, overall, in general, this layout is from week 27. Um, some of the photos were dated the 1st, some were dated the 3rd. Um, and, and I think that one or two of them was in between there as well. But I just chose to highlight the 1st and the 3rd, um, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be exact or precise. Um, one thing I did enjoy doing is, um, if you notice right here, I'm cutting up some of those filler cards from the Project Life Charming Core Kit. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. I love taking the little quotes and sentiments and the little statement pieces and layering those on top of the other cards. Um, I'm also going to use this rub-on here, and um, now normally I would cut that in half, um, but for once I'm going to use it whole, and um, so I apologize for a minute, the camera's going to shake. <laughs> um, that's okay. It's going to shake a little bit while I rub that on and get that positioned. Um, these rub-ons are a little tricky. You have to, to lift it up a little bit and check to make sure that the whole image came off. And um, then be sure and burnish it a little bit when it's done. But I do love, I love the rub-ons and I love how they, they become a part of the paper that they're on. That's just a lot of fun. And then I'm going to um, layer this little remember this thing and then what to do about that white strip going across the bottom um, so I pretty much decide I'm gonna grab my Becky Higgins roller stamp and just stamp across it um, and there's always it never quite goes evenly so there's always one that I just stamp off the edge and that card is done <laughs> So I have to tell you guys, um, and I journaled, I'll, I'll go on a journal about this when I get to that card, but I absolutely took pictures of the air conditioner and the thermostat and the vents when they, after they installed that, after being in that house for the painting project for so many days without air conditioning. Oh my word, we were so excited. <laughs> we were so happy to get the air conditioner installed and so happy that, you know, that that part of the project was going to be done. Um, at this point, we still had a little bit more painting to come back in and do. Um, they're they're going to install all of this, and then after the installers are done, um, I have to tell you that the carpet installers tore up the walls. Oh, my word. So we had to go in. We had to go in after the installers and fix their their places on the walls that they knocked up. Um, so, so we still had a portion of the paint project that we had to do after this. So... Having <laughs> having the air conditioner installed and getting it um, inspected and able to be used was like heaven. So I journaled about that a little bit here. It was just really nice. And I, I think I said something about I've never been giddy over um, vent covers and an HVAC system, but here we are. Um, so... <laughs> It's just kind of funny to to think about that and, and to actually, you know, to be able to tell that story, you guys. I, I'm just happy. I'm happy that it has a place, that all these stories have a place now. Um, really makes me happy. So um, I'm going to just cut out this one last sentiment from this card um, and embellish, I think, this this photo and one more photo um so again you know cutting out these journaling these filler cards um 
don't forget to use your to use your core kits that way. Um, it's a great way to use some of the duplicates and a great way to layer and I, I just like doing that. There. Um, so I'm just going to add one more thing to that thermostat photo and um, it, just a couple of stars. And then, y'all, this layout will be done. I'm going to go back um, here in a minute and I will put those the date cards from the other layout. I'm going to put those in the pockets and then you'll get to take a look at the layouts themselves. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. And be sure to leave me a comment and like and subscribe so that you get all the updates on all the fun stuff that I have going on. And um, then I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow will be... Um, Traveler's Notebook Day. So yay, that'll be fun. Thanks again for watching you guys. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.